Hi beautiful souls, I'm doing a pick a pile reading which is going to be in two parts. This is part one, so this is part one and part two. And then pile three and four are in part two. So check up on which pile resonates. So pile one we have the Carnelian. And pile two, I think this is an amethyst, I'm not sure. So pick your pile, but thank you for watching. So this message is, what does the Divine Masculine need to heal at this time and some healing advice? So pick your pile and we'll get started. So pile one, you chose this stone. So let's get your messages. So where's the Masculine out on his journey, his healing journey right now? So we have guide, mask, union, summer, crossroads, release, free will, and fresh start. So let's clarify these messages for you, the tarot. So we've got guide. So I think this is him. He's tuning into his intuition at this time. And his higher self maybe. He's had some sort of awakening. He's, he's connecting in to the universe. To his guides. To his angels who are assisting him at this time. Let's have a look. So we have strength. So I think he's tapping into his inner strength, you know, he's tapping into that uh, resilience, that emotional strength, you know, to overcome emotional challenges that we have in life. Okay, I feel this is an emotional strength or maybe spiritual strength as well that he's gaining. And then we have mask and we have five of wands. So I think he was very conflicted, okay, or has been very conflicted in the past between mind and heart maybe, between emotions and logic, having an internal fight about, you know, being his true authentic self. And maybe when you met him, he wasn't being his true authentic self. He was actually wearing a mask. And then we have union and with the chariot. So it does look like he wants to come forward here. It does want to move forward. It's fast moving forward. And we've got the moon in that card and we just had the new moon. And it does look like he does want a union or reunion with his feminine here. Then we have summer. So we're just out of summer. And we have ten of cups. So possibly, you know, there might be some movement forward in this connection. You know, in the near future. Or it could be next summer um, for some of you. Obviously it's a general reading. So take what resonates, okay? And then we have Crossroads. And we have the Nine of Wands. So he's been going through quite a dark time. You know, he's had a lot of challenges. There's a lot of passion here as well, but he's had a lot of challenges to deal with. And he's nearly at the end of that cycle. We're nearly at the nine. We're at the nine, so we're nearly at the ten. And he, once he's through that, I think he'll be in a, a clearer mindset to to make the next decision moving forward because then we have release and to me I'm getting like release in the past so two of wands it's about making that decision you know it's about making that decision to release the past to let it go to let go of that hurt to let go of those situations from the past and and forgive you know forgive others forgive yourself and just move forward and then we have free will and with the Ace of Wands. So yes, he has the free will to make that decision, to take action, to move forward for a passionate new start, to make that passionate move forward. And the next card is a fresh start. So it, to me, it does very much look like he does want this fresh start moving forward, okay? So let's get the card. We've got the Hermit. So yeah, possibly at the moment, he's still in that Hermit mode. He's still going within. He's still doing that inner work. As I said, this is a, a message about healing, what healing he needs to do. 
So it's possible he still has work to do with regard to his healing. Let's get another message on that. And then we've got the Two of Cups, so that's beautiful. So I feel once he's been through this period of healing and, you know, he's at the Nine of Wands, he comes through to the Ten and he makes that decision to move forward. He wants that happy ever after. He wants that reunion, okay? And he wants that Two of Cups. He wants to exchange his love with his feminine. So that's beautiful. So let's have a look here. Yeah, he's he was in the mindset that when he was in relationships, everyone got hurt, so he withdrew on himself, I think. But he, he knows that this is a soul connection. He's feeling that soul connection with you. And yeah, he's possibly still in the dark night of the soul at the moment, okay? And releasing and purging any karma, any karmic issues, any karmic connections. But his feelings for his feminine are very deep. They're as deep as the ocean. I mean, at the beginning, I think he had denial. He had his head in the sand. You know, he was in denial of any feelings that he had. And he possibly, you know, he was in the um, five and ones, was it, energy. And he was, you know, in conflict with himself. But he's awakening. He's going through an awakening right now. Yeah, he's working on that self-love, that love of self. And he knows that the connection he shares with his feminine is, is very special. And he wants that love and closeness with her again. He wants to be with her in her life. But he knows that there could be, you know, he's working on himself. He knows that when he does come forward, you know, there could be a bit of a storm. Um, she may be feeling hurt, you know, from the past. Um, but there's been no contact in this connection, okay? One or both of you blocked the other. But he wants to kiss his feminine under the stars. It's to be romantic. He has inner child work to do as well. He's got to heal some inner child work there. So what does he want to say? I consciously send you telepathic messages. You can ask me anything and I will respond in truth. I keep all your messages and fall deep in love as I read them. I see the true beauty of you as you bear your heart and soul to me and I wish I was as brave as you. I enjoy the thrill of the chase and want to surprise you so please let me have the space so I can pursue you for a change. Please stop running from me and let me love you now. A twin flame sexual union could result in pregnancy so he might want a family. Yeah, we've got baby here confirmation so if you if and when you reunite if you don't want a family straight away take precautions and this could happen in a few months time so what healing advice do we have so this is the heart chakra yeah we said that about letting go of the past he's releasing and there's a beautiful rainbow and he's working on forgiveness okay forgiveness of self and forgiveness of others and he's working on his throat chakra to open up his communication skills. Possibly they were not the best suit. And if you're blocked anyway, that's there's no communication. So this needs to be worked on, obviously. I understand myself more and more. That's all I need. Self-clarity. Then everything is all glittery and bright. Some have said I'm all butterflies and flowers. Good, I say. They're pretty gentle, kind, lovely and bring and bring me love and joy. So this is about, you know, feeling happy about who you are. Happy about... So this is like the solar plexus, I think. Being happy about who you are in the world, you know. What, what sort of person you are. Your self-esteem. We have relaxation. So he needs to take some time out to relax, to recharge he could be somebody that's been working really hard okay and he's thinking about the future okay he is thinking about that right now as we saw that that he does want to take action in the future and go towards his feminine so this is my chakra soul healing oracle so he yeah he's working on his self-worth and his self-esteem right now and he wants to be sensual and be able to express himself freely okay and he's working on being grateful you know having that gratitude in his life and not dwelling on the negative just trying to dwell on the positive right now 
So there are some messages from Spirit. And they're saying dancing and manifest. So get your body moving, masculines. Dancing to help you manifest. Raise your vibration. And choose the person who chooses you every day. So again, this is a self-esteem issue. You know, choose that person that really wants to be with you. Okay, so there are your messages, part one. Hope that resonated. See you in my next video. Hello, party. You chose this crystal. So let's get your messages for your masculine on this healing journey. So we have anchor, key, twin flame, scythe, coffin, child, bear, book, cross and fish okay so let's get your messages let's clarify these messages so first off we have anger which says stability security and peace of mind so i think your masculine is working on becoming this in his own life okay being his own anchor being stable being secure in his own life maybe he didn't feel that for a while for whatever reason especially if you go through a breakup with somebody or you lose your job or you know it's been unsettling times for a lot of people so maybe he didn't feel secure so we've got anchor so clarifying that we have the five of cups so maybe he you know this is after um, a heartbreak situation where he didn't feel you know stable you know he this love affair this relationship ended and you know he didn't feel stable in his life he'd lost his foot in and it's taking him work you know he's building his work he's working up to getting that stability back then we have key which is synchronicity sign and fate so we have nine of swords so yeah i feel after this you know breakup you know he's, he's gone through difficult times you know sleepless nights anxiety depression even some possibly some physical ailments okay um that he's been going through let's get another message so we've got six of cups so i feel like this is a reconciliation and you know this is a twin flame connection because of the sunflowers and he's thinking about his twin flame he's thinking about his feminine right now that he does want to reconnect but at the moment obviously he's not in a good place because he's doing that inner work and then we have twin flames so he is aware of this connection okay he is aware of this connection and we've got three of wands so i think moving forward he does want to work together with his feminine he does want to do move forward together um in this reconnection and then we have scythe sharp clear can be cut in so we have the sun So maybe in the past this person had, it's quite harsh or somebody he was in connection with was quite harsh in their words, in the way they spoke, quite blunt. Um, and he, he wants to put that behind him. You know, he wants the sun to come out. He wants to be in a happier position. And then we've got coughing, a painful transition, a calling to soul mission. So the Six of Pentacles. So it's about balancing that out, you know, balancing out, you know, the give and take in your connection and, and the situation. So again, he's working on himself right now. Then we have child, playful inner child healing. So there could be some inner child healing needed here. So we've got two of swords. So yeah, I think there was things about his past that he didn't want to look at, okay, and he's He's still got the blindfold on, really. Um, so these are things that he needs to look at, okay? And this is something he needs to work on. Then we have Bear, which is powerful, strong and protective. So he could feel like this around you. He could feel very protective of you, okay? Even if it is from a distance, he may feel that way. 
And we've got judgment, yeah, because, I mean, he's, he's feeling this connection, you know, this divine connection between you. You know, there is this pull, this magnetic pull between you both. And it's judgment, after all, you know, this is a soul contract. And book, being open, intimate and revealing secrets. So the fool, I think this is a new beginning, you know, this is what he wants in the future. He wants to be open with his feminine. He wants to be intimate. He wants to share his life story. Maybe you didn't even get to do that. And he wants to take that leap of faith with his feminine and leave the past behind. And then we have cross, heavy burden, surrendering to the divine. So six of wands, he wants victory. He wants to overcome these obstacles. He wants to overcome his past. He wants to do that healing work and move forward. He wants to put it all behind him and have victory moving forward with his feminine. And then we have fish, which is financial and spiritual abundance. So we have queen of pentacles. So you could be feminines, a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you're just somebody that is very financially stable. He sees you as somebody very financially stable, someone abundant in their um, life someone nurturing kind someone who is spiritual you know in tune with her intuition yeah he sees you as having that inner strength as well he sees you as somebody very strong you may have overcome a lot of obstacles in your life and we've got the ace of cups so there is love here there is love waiting to be expressed here in this situation okay let's get some other messages Yeah, so I feel there was a lack of communication in this connection and afraid to, he was afraid to open up to his feminine. And he had no vision, he, you know, lack of imagination. He couldn't see a way forward with this connection at one point. But he's been raising his consciousness. He's been going within and getting guidance. You know, we have the Nine of Swords energy. He's, you know, being forced to go within and to tap into his inner wisdom here. And he wants to be adventurous in the future. He wants to try new experiences and go new places, meet new people, be more open-minded to new things. And he's, you know, sacral chakra could be awakened right now. He may be being creative, maybe he's an artist, maybe he writes songs, poems, you know, is a gardener, you know, whatever he does, cooks, you know, his, his creativity is being unleashed right now. And he's somebody that puts on a front, I feel, as well. He's somebody that doesn't show his feelings. He has that mask. He hides behind it. He doesn't like people to know his business. So you could be connecting with your masculine on the 5D, you know, having those romantic, loving times. But he needs his alone time right now. And he wasn't being honest about how he felt about you. Yeah, he's working on his inner demons, his dark night of the soul. And he may have ghosted you again, okay? But he's missing your tender kisses. And he's got a secret to tell you. He's working on himself right now. His self-esteem and his self-worth. And he's working on his physical fitness as well. Because that helps with his self-esteem. So what does he want to say? <clears throat> I'm not running anymore. The only running I'm doing now is towards you. Thank you for always believing in me with your love. Nobody can get me down. I look at everything you send me and I'm doing the inner work. I'm working through my fears so that I can explain everything to you one day. I feel you hear me with your sexual fire energy. I love how you turn me on and heal me with your love all at the same time. And I yearn to heal with you in sexual union. So we saw that. I'm a mess right now. I'm so effing confused and I don't know what I want at this time. I need to go with him for answers. My de desire is to be with you, but I can't ask you to wait because I'm at this time I'm burdened by a sense of duty and responsibilities. Your love is knocking down these brick walls with a bulldozer. I can't stop falling for you, even if I haven't told you how I feel. You know I'm crazy in love with you. So there's deep feelings here, whether they've expressed them or not, okay? So what does he need to work on here? So yeah, we've got self-esteem, we've got the solar plexus chakra again. So this is self-worth, self-love, self-confidence, 
to feel worthy, you know, to feel worthy of being loved. And the heart chakra, obviously, he needs to open his heart chakra to give and receive love, okay? So he's working on that. And there's a change coming in. The truth is you are everything. So that's beautiful. So this is about self-love, I feel, as well as having that love in his heart for his feminine. Yeah, love. There's definitely love here, okay? There's deep love here in this connection. And he's got decisions to make, which he knows he has to make. But he's still working on his healing right now. Yeah, this is the um, throat chakra. So he feels insecurity. Um, he needs to heal his throat chakra. Um, yeah, there's... Maybe he's not, you know, expressing his truth in a very good way. And this is the heart chakra about self-love. Okay, so there's healing needed there. The uncharted sea. So he knows that he doesn't know what's ahead, you know, and it's taking that leap of faith like the fool card. Taking that leap of faith going on that uncharted sea to see where you end up basically it's taking that leap of faith which i think you will be doing so then we've got some messages from spirit be real with them and speak your effing truth already so yeah he needs to work on his throat chakra here and this person is trustworthy so what are you tripping for so they may have trust issues with people because of past experiences okay so that's what they're working on right now so, as I say, this is part one. Part two will be part three and four. So, if this doesn't resonate, check out those um, readings. Um, thank you for watching. So, thank you. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see you next time. Many blessings.